The Honourable Member for New Westminster Coquitlam. East Coast fishers are worried. This government is about to eliminate the long-standing fleet separation policy. They're talking about handing over the fragile inshore fishery to big corporate interests. Coastal communities depend on the inshore fishery, yet this government won't even consult with them. I know that corporate concentration in BC has been a total disaster. That fishery has never recovered. Mr. Speaker, will the minister stand with independent fishers and oppose this corporate sellout? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Only from the NDP can you expect to hear cries, to hear cries like the fishery is b broken, but please don't fix it. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we are, we are consulting with fishers and, and uh, Canadians in Canada. Uh, we believe that our fisheries uh, is in dire need of an overhaul. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the waste that we have in our fisheries management now needs to be improved for all fishers so, so that they can earn a proper livelihood. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the fleet separation and owner-operator policies protect jobs and prevent the concentration of power in the hands of a few large corporations. These policies allow communities and inshore fishers to make a living. It's not an easy life, but East Coast fishers are proud of it. The minister is in the midst of consultations, but the fishers do not want the law to be changed. So will the minister respect the opinion of, of independent fishers and coastal communities instead of putting corporate interests first? The, minister of fisheries, yeah. the Honourable Minister of Fisheries and Oceans. The consultation is seeking advice, and that's exactly what we're doing, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the fishing industry is made up of thousands of very capable entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who are held back by rules and regulations that will disallow them from making an honest buck because of ineffective government policies, Mr. Speaker. The fishermen I know are happiest when they're pulling their nets, not dealing with bureaucracy, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for St. John's East. Mr. Speaker, independent fishermen are the heart and soul of the East Coast fisheries. But this government is may, may be about to pull the plug and eliminate fleet separation and owner-operated policies. Now, the minister talks about consultation, but the only ones in the room are big business. Fishers in Newfoundland and Labrador have staged protests to try and get the government's attention, but they're not listening. Will the minister assure fishermen of the East Coast that these policies, which protect the inshore fleet and coastal communities, will be retained and even strengthened? question, Mr. Speaker. The fact is that we uh, must regain our global competitiveness and provide harvesters with an operating environment where they can make, actually make a living, uh, Mr. Speaker. And to do that, we are seeking the input of Canadians. The NDP is not in favour of seeking input, obviously, Mr. Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, we will consult, we will take advice, we will listen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth, Paul Harbour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, the only people that are complaining about the state of the fishery are the corporate investors and the financiers who want a piece of the pie. The inshore fishery in the Atlantic, Canada, and Quebec fought back against corporate interests in the 90s, and it looks like they're going to have to do it again as a result of what this minister is intending to do. I want to ask the minister, will he stand with New Democrats in Quebec, in Atlanta, Canada, and stand up for inshore fishers and their communities? The Honourable Minister of Fisheries and Oceans. Well, Mr. Speaker, you can rest assured that I'll never stand with the NDP. Mr. Speaker, we are, we are, we are proceeding looking at how we can improve our fishery in, the, in this country. Mr. Speaker, it's, on, it's in decline and we have to do something to ensure that it's sustainable in the future and sustainable to all fishers to make a, a proper living, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honourable Member for Vancouver Centre.